Oh, oh, check it out. I found some uh, pro taper pillow top grips. They haven't even been opened yet. Why would someone throw these away? Oh, look, I even found some grip donuts. They haven't even been opened either. That's pretty cool. So I somewhat recently got a message from one of the subscribers. Uh, his name is Christian Monteith. Uh, I believe I'm saying that correctly. It's this guy right here. And he asked if I could do a video on how I installed the handguards. And since I'm doing that, I'm also going to show you how I install new grips. I mean, just look at these grips. It's about time for some new ones. And as you know already, I got these Pro Taper pillow tops. I got little mini pillows all over them, nice and soft. And I got these. Uh, if you don't know what these are, I'll show you in just a minute. Um, Decker actually recommended these, so I'm gonna give them a try. To get the guards off, we're gonna need a few tools. Um, I actually keep them in this tail bag. I'm gonna do a video on this uh, before too long, and I'm gonna show you everything I keep in it. But I just keep the, the specific tools for the hand guards in here, um, you know, because you never know. It takes a six millimeter Allen wrench and a four millimeter Allen wrench. And also way deep down in here, I have a 12 millimeter wrench. So those are the three tools you need. So I'll just start at the end um, and loosen this up. It's a lot tighter than it should be. Um, I think something got tweaked. I'll just loosen this up with the four millimeter. This is just essentially a sandwich clamp with four bolts. This is actually the rather difficult part um, with these handguards because it gets so close to this bar right here. Um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of room. Like if this bar was up higher, it would probably be a lot better. On this one, I actually had to sand it down um, quite a bit so it would fit. But yeah, that's my only complaint. And I've also had these handguards um, ever, almost ever since I had the bike, which is about 7,000 miles ago. And I'll also go ahead and loosen up this bolt next to my ram mount. These things get rather tweaked, like if I fall a bunch. And it's good to just kind of readjust them anyways once in a while. Fling this loose, there we go. I'll just take this bolt all the way off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so essentially how this works um, is the bolt goes through the handguard and then this little metal piece goes over the bolt and then there's this little tapered nut. It goes on like this. And essentially what happens is when you tighten the bolt down, it draws this tapered nut into all these little fingers and it pushes them out. Um, and it clamps on the inside of the bar and the tighter you make it, the harder it's gonna clamp. It's a pretty cool idea. Okay, so to take the grip off, um, I'll just grab a razor blade. What? I'm just making cookies. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> And I'll just slice the old grip, being careful not to cut my finger off. And just yank it off. And next, uh, I'll take some rubbing alcohol. Uh, I found this in the cabinet. Uh, it's got alcohol written on it with Sharpie, so you know it's legit. And the alcohol just makes it easier to get these on, um, and then it evaporates um, after like a day or two. Um, this is just the way I do it. Uh, some people use uh, other things like super glue. I've even heard of some people using gasoline, but I don't know if that's a really good idea. Um, but once you take the grips out, you'll notice uh, one hole is bigger than the other. Um, the bigger one goes on the right side with the throttle um, because the throttle tube is bigger diameter than this side. So, um, so make sure you don't mix it up because I mean, <laughs> that won't work very well as a grip. I'll just take a little bit of this alcohol and just pour it in here. You know, don't need a whole lot. Just kind of turn it around. 
and I just slide it on. Try not to get the alcohol in your eyes. It's probably not a bad idea to wear some safety goggles. So look at that. It goes on so easy. Um, and it usually takes like a day, a day or two for this to dry completely. But once it dries, it sticks pretty well. And then I'll just take the razor blade again and cut out an area so I can stick my hand guards in. <laughs> Look at all that alcohol pouring out. I think that was alcohol. Who knows what it could be. Alright, now I'm just going like, to throw any of these donuts on. Um, they just get on here like this. And I think the point of these is just to help cushion your uh, index finger and thumb, um, help them slide uh, back and forth a little bit easier. So yeah, I thought I would just give these a try, um, see if they make any difference. Um, I think motocrossers use these a lot. Now I'm just going to throw a handguard back on, bolt first, metal thing with the fingers, and then this tapered nut, and it should just go in fairly easily. There we go. So yeah, I think the handguard um, actually got bent, but I'm just going to roll with it. Oh wow, <laughs> if you can tell, um, this handguard's kind of bent. Like it's supposed to be like that, but it's not lining up at all. Um, it'll still work, it's just going to look a little weird right here. Sometimes you might have to kind of get this started so it'll catch, or else it'll just keep spinning. You'll feel it when it starts to get tight. There we go. And then I'm just gonna kind of push this into place. It's so bent, but it'll work. Okay, so once you get that nice and snug, just make sure it's in the position you want. I typically like the middle part to be kind of parallel with the lever. Just make sure it's not going to get in the way um, or anything. And once it's where you want it, go ahead and make sure everything's nice and tight. And make sure you tighten each side of the sandwich clamp uh, evenly, um, just so one side's not a lot closer than the other. Okay, so now that we're done with this side, uh, let's move on to the other side. So this side is pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is, is I have this auxiliary light right here. Um, and it just makes it harder to get to the bolt. Okay, so now that I got the handguard off, um, I'll just show you this really quick. When I first got the handguards, I had to uh, mill this throttle tube out. Um, just a little bit there. I think there was a hole, but it was a lot smaller Then the reason I did that is so I could fit it in and also um, so it'll uh, Still move back and forth without without rubbing against it um, So before you tighten this part down um, completely on the throttle side I always pull this part out as much as possible and what that does is just give the throttle um, a bunch of room so it's not going to get stuck or anything like that um, and it's not rubbing up against it um, because it sucks getting your throttle stuck when you're trying to ride and also I've never had any issues of like fall having the bike fall over and pushing that back in it usually stays put there we go it's got plenty of room all right, well, there it is, uh, brand new grips. Um, kind of a pain to do with the handguards because you gotta take them off every time, but handguards are definitely worth it um, if you do a lot of off-roading. I've never broken a lever. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks for the idea, Christian. And also, if any of you have any video ideas, you can always message me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. But anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you later. Peace out.